Good morning. Ugh, veggie lovers. Spin a minute. Hey, little bird. You're a culprit. Good morning, veggie lovers. Today is January the 24th, Friday, 2020. It's been a minute. <clears throat> Um, not much had changed, so I just thought that I would just wait until we did see some major changes in the garden. So that's the reason why we've been a little MIA. Um, everything is actually still looking very, very great. I am actually a little overwhelmed with the amount of greens that we have. So it is harvest time at this point. I'm going to let Pat come out and pick these... Um, these collards because number one I don't want them to get too tough and number two like what are we gonna do with all of these collard greens you know so of course we aren't going to over harvest them we do have some that are still you know the leaves are a little smaller but from my research I know that we have to got these birds are really fighting this morning. Can you keep it down? Um, ghetto birds? Anyway, as far as the broccoli is concerned, remember I did purchase um, some of the plants, which was, I think like a few of these here, um, as seedlings and others that I, you know, grew from scratch, from seeds. I believe that even though it was marked for, I believe that it was marked for, um, marked as broccoli, I think that the sticker on the inside was just incorrect because this is not broccoli. This is just another, another type of collard green. Let me see, what does it say, broccoli? Collards, <clears throat> broccoli. You see that? Come, come. Make sure you close the door quickly. Close it quick so no mosquito comes. Mosquitoes come in. Oh, I can't stick this back in. Okay. So that's that. I believe that they just sold me collards but they stated that it was broccoli. Because these, which That's are supposed orange, to... That's an orange pepper. Yeah. What is it, Kai? That's an orange one. Let me see you. That's Touch a, it. That's a big one. Yeah, that's, but don't pop it yet. Let it get a little... Hi. Um. <laughs> okay, so, Kai, be careful. There's a big um, spider web over in the corner. I have to knock it down, okay? So... What we have here is a bunch of collard greens. So I'm a little disappointed because I did think that those were broccoli growing along with our collard greens. So it is what it is. So we have a bunch of collards and then of course we have our lunchbox orange pepper plant. Now these I've been using like crazy. I just come out and pop some off. We have a lot more that are beginning to bud there. So we literally have more of a, we've been using peppers like crazy. Like it's really a good thing. None of them have been hot though. Everything I realized later, they're all sweet. So we have the sweet Italian pepper, which are these. I thought for some reason that this would be like a, a spicy pepper. It's not. It's exactly what it says. Sweet Italian pepper. We also have these. These are actually bell peppers. Okay. So this has been like a joy. This is a like a red bell pepper. And this serves like an orange bell pepper. That's the taste of them. And the consistency. So... Publix and farmers markets, they won't see us that often when it comes down to my regular 
produce because we have quite a few out here. Hey, did you guys, did you guys close that door all the way? Uh, I did. Open it? Okay. Close it? That's good, that's good. Okay, because the yard man is coming. Okay, so I'm kind of all over the place this morning because the boys are out here with me. Um, this, which is the soybean plant, this one is beginning to grow back. Ow! That bird flew right by my head. You know what, boys? That was an attack. They don't want us close. You see that? How they're looking? That bird just charged at my head. No, don't do that, Koi. They'll peck your eyes out. They don't want us on our own patio because they have baby birds in our bushes. The nerve. Can I see it? No, because I wasn't videotaping myself. He literally touched my um the top of my head. That is crazy. I don't know if I've ever told this story before, but I have a friend, I think I told you guys about it, that I have a friend whose name I won't mention because it's none of anyone's business, but I had a friend who was pregnant and she had these same birds on the outside of her door. I mean, she was big and pregnant, like eight, eight months, almost nine months. And um, she, uh, every time she would walk into her doorway, the birds would kind of like go crazy or get stirred up or whatever. Well, she walked out one day and they began to attack her and she fell. She ended up going to the hospital and the people actually told her once she called the bird whoever or the animal whomever that these birds are endangered and that they're protected by the state of Florida and that she could not remove the um, the bird's nest from outside of her door. Isn't that some joke? Like the birds were more important than the baby. See this bird? Go, get, get. The birds were more important than the baby, the human that she was carrying in her stomach. Can you believe that? Well, I tell you what. Okay, let me just be quiet. I got something though. That bird just literally it was either his wing, but they, that that was a, like a, a move that he did purposely. I can't even think of the word right now. Yeah. That was a strategic move. He literally, I don't run over my foot, babe. Okay, I got it. He literally came at my head. You know what? I'm going to look at the, the house footage. That's what I'll do. We can look at it on TV when we go back in the house from the cameras. Wow. I'm gonna see if I can get the surveillance camera and um, the footage and put it onto the video. I'll probably post it later on after this video. All right, you guys, this is so not about the, the garden anymore. Okay, the tomatoes, we're back at square one. Like, I'm kind of just like, whatever happens with the tomatoes is gonna happen. Because as you see, these are just stripped all over again, you see? But again, you see more that are springing up from the bottom. So I don't know how to, I don't, I, I'm just, I'm done. I really want the tomatoes. I'm not really a tomato lover. Shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell the boys. Back up, Kai Dai. Um, and we have new okra growing here as well. So this time, since I'm here, I'll be able to harvest them myself. Because before, remember, 